Hey, hi there, my name is Casey Anderson. I work for Bionics International and I'm here to talk to you about the new smart electric bike. Uh, we're working with Mercedes-Benz in partnership with Bionics to uh, create a, uh, a complete package. And these will be sold uh, all across North America in any Mercedes-Benz dealership. What we have here is a, a 48 volt battery. That's a, a 6.6 .6 amp hour battery. Um, it's paired with our IGH motor. We're one of the only companies in the world manufacturing this type of motor. What it has is an internal three-speed hub inside our 350 watt motor. And it, as you can see here, it's driven by a Gates belt drive. Um, it offers the same proportional assist that Bionics is known for. What it is is a, uh, a torque sensor in the bottom bracket on this one, which also offers smartphone integration. So what that means is a user will get feedback on their smartphone. You can actually plug it in and charge it up top here. Uh, it'll offer cadence, speed, and of course, you know, GPS, uh, elevation, all the normal things that you can get on a high-end cycle computer. Uh, if you look up top here, uh, it's simple three-speed. And uh, what that means for the user is it's really intuitive. You know, it's only three-speed, one, two, three, if you, if you haven't ridden a bike for a long time. Um, of course, it's a really simple interface. Um, the, uh, the system also offers generate mode and regenerative braking, so the system can recharge while you ride uh, to extend the range uh, on, on each individual trip. Uh, overall, a fairly lightweight package as well. This thing is uh, it's just over 50 pounds. Oh, it, of course, any car manufacturer is going to want to have daytime running lights on there, um, and they're powered by the battery, of course. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about charging other batteries at the same time. What this means for uh, the cycling community, I'm sure a lot of people will walk by our booth and say, oh, electric bikes, is, is, are those things still around, right? But uh, car companies have a lot of power and a lot of influence, right? And so getting them involved, you know, they're going to want to, going to, want to create spaces for people to use their product. And uh, so they'll lobby and, of course, create infrastructure for all of us. So it's a, it's a really great thing to have companies like Smart and Mercedes involved uh, in the cycling industry.